Hello and hope you had a good time. At first, I want to say Merry Christmas to all Christians. Let's go to history of Christmas and Santa Claus. Christmas, celebrated on December 25, is both a sacred religious holiday and a cultural and commercial phenomenon around the world. This phenomenon has been celebrated by people around the world for 2,000 years with different religious and non-religious traditions and customs. Christians celebrate Christmas as the anniversary of the birth of Jesus, their religious prophet. Christmas costumes include attending church, giving presents to each other, decorating the Christmas tree, inviting family and loved ones to eat, and finally, waiting to meet Santa Claus. December 25, 1870 as Christmas Day and a holiday are known in the United States. Subscribe our YouTube channel to watch the rest of this video and more. Do you know the lexical root of the word Christmas? The word Christmas meaning Feast of Christ, in third Old English in 1151. Its shorter term Xmas first appeared in the 13th century. The older word Yule is derived from the German word Joel or the Anglo-Saxon word Yule, meaning the celebration of the Winter Revolution. Words in other languages such as Navidad in Spanish, Natale in Italian and Noel in French all mean Christmas. And the German word Weihnachten also means Night of Sanctification. How did Christmas start? The beginning of winter has long been celebrated with the birth of a man named Jesus in the darkest days of winter because the birth of the prophet in the long winter nights was like a light of hope for people to wait for longer days. In Scandinavia, the New Year is celebrated from December 21, the beginning of winter. On this day, fathers and sons brought home a tree stump to light the return of the sun and lit it. And it took about 12 days for the stump to go out. And the people it was believed that any spark in the wood would mark the birth of a new calf this year. The end of December was a good time to celebrate in most parts of Europe. At the time of year, most people slaughtered their cows so that they would not have to feed them during the winter. For many people, this was the only time of the year when fresh meat was prepared. In Germany, people worshipped the god Odin during the midwinter holidays. The German people were terrified of him because they believed that he would fly in the sky overnight and observe them and decide who would boost the business in the new year and who would perish slowly. Is Christmas really the birthday of Jesus? In the early years of Christianity, Easter was the main holiday of the year and the birth of Jesus was not celebrated. In the 4th century, church officials decided to consider the birth of Jesus as a holiday. But unfortunately, the days of Jesus' birth is not mentioned in Bible. Although some evidence points to the fact that Jesus was born in the spring, Pope Julius I chose December 25 as the birthday of Jesus. Originally known as Easter, the event spread to Egypt in 432. In the late 6th century, and then until the late 8th century, Christmas to Scandinavia. Today, the Greek and Russian Orthodox churches celebrate Christmas 13 to 14 days after December 25 because the Western churches use the Gregorian calendar, while the Eastern churches use the Julian calendar. 14 days use the Gregorian calendar is later. Both the Eastern and Western churches celebrate their day until 12 days after Christmas, and it is believed that on this day, three wise men saw Jesus in the cradle. Church leaders increased the popularity of Christmas by holding traditional festivals in the winter, and in the Middle Ages, Christianity was largely a substitute for 
idolatry. On Christmas Day, believers first attended church and then participated in various carnivals. On this day, the poor went to the homes of the rich and ate their best food and drink. In later years, on Christmas Day, people from the upper classes entertained the poor and practiced their religion. At the same time, English author Charles Dickens wrote a story called The Classic Vacation, which conveyed the message of the importance of charity to all human beings in United States and Britain, and demonstrated the benefits of this celebration. Christmas also provided a day for families to pay attention and give gifts to their children, regardless of their mistakes. After the acceptance of Christmas as a family holiday by the American people, people sought to learn the old customs of celebrating Christmas from the Catholic Church. Over the next 100 years, the American people created a tradition for celebrating Christmas, which included decorating a tree, sending greeting cards, and giving gifts. Although many people thought that Christmas was a celebration that is several hundred years old, in fact it was a day to meet the growing cultural needs of a country. Who invented Santa Claus? The legend of Santa Claus can be attributed to a monk named Saint Nicholas, who was born in Turkey around 280 AD. Saint Nicholas devoted all his inherited wealth to helping the poor and sick travel to the countryside and became known as the protector of children and workers. Saint Nicholas first entered American popular culture in New York in the late 18th century, and after his death, the name Santa Claus was coined to commemorate him. In 1822, Clement Clark Moore wrote a special poem for Christmas in which Santa Claus was identified as a man who flew in the sky with his sleigh and deer at Christmas and brought toys to children. The iconic version of Santa Claus was immortalized in 1881 by Thomas Ness, the political cartoonist, as a happy and kind man with a white beard and a red dress carrying a bag full of toys for children. All over the world, the cypress tree is an important symbol of Christmas. In the ancient culture of Iran, this tree was considered the tree of immortality and it was looked at with a holy look. The interesting thing about Christmas is that every year about 30 to 35 million real Christmas trees are sold in the United States alone. There are 21,000 Christmas tree growers in the United States, and the trees are usually grown about 15 years before sale. Christmas celebrations in Christian countries are different and there are different traditions and customs between them, but the common denominator of this ceremony is going to churches to celebrate the birth of Jesus Christ and decorating and lighting a pine tree at home. Many Christians also take to the streets and alleys on this day to perform hymns of worship and thanksgiving. Christmas is also celebrated in India as a hobby for a long time due to the influence of Europe in this country. One of the best traditional Christmas places in India is Goa, with a large Catholic population. Many domestic and international tourists come to the beaches of Goa and watch Goa's Christmas.